Welcome everyone. Today's video finds us over here in Jatrujack and we're going to check out the Jatrujack Night Walking Street. This is a special event that goes on from the 15th to the 24th and it's about two, two and a half kilometers worth of a night market. So uh, let's walk through here, let's check out the food and uh, all the shopping and stuff and see what it's like. This is in Jatchajak. This is the Bangbua Canal, and it's just uh, right here off of Pahanyotan, kind of uh, one of the suburbs of Bangkok. So the sign talking about there's uh, live music each night, banana band one of the nights, and this will just be right here on the sidewalk. They have amusement rides for the kids, a haunted house. We're just coming into it right now. Here's the haunted house. You can hear some music playing. Have a little Ferris wheel. The kids can buy these here and paint them up. And the huge bouncy castle for the kids. Now, I couldn't film back there by the uh, Ferris wheel and all of that. They're playing some loud music and uh, the copyright strike. So this is the start of the walking street. And you can see they got stuff on both sides and then they'll have a couple places with a couple double rows. Right here, this is like amusement park stuff for the kids. Shooting games, guns, slingshots. They can win the little animals, little toys and stuff like that. Got a little petting zoo here. So you can buy the carrots and the milk and then feed the goats and feed the rabbits. The kids love this. They can catch some fish, take them home. This is the food zone. Quite a bit of amusement park stuff. But the Thais always want to come here for the food. So they're roasting up some of the quail. So you can get uh, three of these for 90 baht or 30 baht each. They put the little sesame seeds on them. And this is where it's really, really crowded. You can get some of the squid on a stick. She's barbecuing them right there and then that's the uh, sauce that she marinates them in. So depending on the size, they're 20 baht up to 40 baht for these big ones right here. Some grilled chicken. This is one of the favorites. The Thais love this. You get it with the sticky rice. They put this big exhaust fan. Usually you're just like belching out smoke, but he's got it set up pretty nice. So he's grilling these up. He's got the charcoals going. You can get a little bag of it for 30 baht. These are just a light, crispy little snack. And she's making up the kanon buang. These are like these little pancakes that put the, the cream on it, chocolate, the sprinkles, the foy tong. And then over here, they're making these big, huge, uh, like little bread th snacks. You can sit right here next to the canal. They have a little hot pot restaurant. So they put these mats down, the ties, they take off their shoes, and they just sit on the ground and they uh, make up the hot pot stuff. And here you have these humongous corn dogs. And then some more of these kanonbuan. He's putting the cream on it right now. And this is the little butter snack. So he puts it on the grill and he rolls them up into these. You can get these right here for uh, 30 baht or three for 100. Have some of that super, super thick soup. And then they have the macaroni, pad thai, all the noodles. Now oh, that macaroni smells really good. And some more seating over here for some other little restaurants. You get the various Thai foods. Some of the curries, that halal chicken. We got the red curry, the yellow curry. You can get it with the noodles over here. These guys here have a little bit of everything. They have some of the Thai tea, and then they have some of the kebabs, and then she's making the roti. And then they have these little snacks right here, the crispy roti. So we went through a zone of food, and, and we went through a zone of shopping, and then we're back into some more food. 
And then they're selling stuff secondhand here. You see this at a lot of the markets. This snack here, the caramel. So you get one of these for 35 baht, or you get three pieces for a uh, for 100. So this right here, this is the uh, the pigtail. You can see it right there, and she's butchering it up. Now they actually they grill these back here. You can see they got some more of the pigtails, but they grill them right there in those huge dragon pot. So he opened it up for us. So you get the charcoal in there, and then they just hangs them on those little hooks, and they just slow cook them just like that. Cooking up some of the squid eggs. We got the little chili sauce right there. Over here she's making up, looks like some som tom. You can't have any market without the meat on a stick. We got the little hot dogs, the little pork balls. And this is where all the people are at. It is just absolutely jammed. Some little dim sum, more noodles. And it's just chaos with all the sound. It's pretty cool. This is an outdoor market, but they always set up, they'll have like the bakery and everything else here. So they have the, the little uh, dessert rolls and then like the little egg tarts. Oh, and over here we got some soft serve ice cream. This looks nice. So 59 baht if you want the big waffle bowl. Not sure how much the cones are. It looks like uh, 35 baht. So they've steamed the uh, little snails. And these are the eggs. So they, uh, these are hard-boiled eggs, and then they stick them on a stick, and then they grill them up. So you can buy you a whole grilled chicken, and then some of the chicken and rice, some of the deep-fried chicken. You got the chicken feet here, and more noodles. So check out these uh, big old sausages right here. They're just steaming. See that steam coming off of them? Oh, that's really nice. So he's grilling up some of the chicken. And in here, this is where they roast these chestnuts. You see these all over in like Chinatown? You get a little box right here for 100 baht or the bigger box for 120. The chestnuts are always nice. And we got some desserts. We got some music playing. Not sure if this will come out or not without copyright. And you got the bugs, all the crickets and the grasshoppers and the millworms and the coconut worms. Oh, this stinks so bad. But they grill them right over here, or they deep fry them in that oil. And then they throw this, uh, like the pepper and that like sauce on it. And over here you got some uh, regular like just clams and the, have the crabs. And looks like making up some som tom back there. So here he's making up some of the hoi tot, the oyster omelet. So here's the batter that he throws in there. And then he throws the oil and then he'll throw the sprouts on it, the oysters. You got the huge long spatulas because this is a hot job. And he's throwing the sprouts on it. And then he'll cook that up and then he'll throw it like on the little cabbage and uh, you just eat it that away. There's the guy singing. Yeah, I love it. We got the, the fruit, the mangoes, and they put the chili on the mango right here. And in here they got some of the kalmu guy. This is that yellow rice with the chicken leg. And she's uh, cutting up some of the fried chicken. I might get some of this kalmu guy. It's 50 baht. So I got this. I'll eat it up. I always like eating this whenever I go to these markets. We got a, a little sit-down restaurant here, and that's where he's deep frying all the fried chicken, making up some of the noodles. You got the soup to put on there, and then here's all the toppings you get with the noodle. Get the pork, little pork balls, like the liver. I'm getting some of the little curry on the noodles. So you got it prepped here with the chicken feet and they'll throw the curry right on top of it. What this is right here, this is the fish eggs. And he's deep frying it, made it into the little patties. And you can get one of these little cups right here for 50 baht or the small little stick for 25. It smells like an oily, oily fishy. So you can get the gapao mu. It's like 30 baht or 10, baht, 10 more baht for the fried egg. 
You can see that's got the, like the little bamboo in it. And then you can get it with the chilies. Here she's making up these little snacks. Putting a coconut milk and then they steam it. And there's the toppings putting the noodles in it. Has the corn. And then she repeats. She's pretty quick at it. Has the crab, eggs. And you eat this with like soy sauce or however you want to eat it. And we got some more grilled chicken. He's grilling it there. Some more of the roasted chestnuts. Yeah, when you go to Chinatown, they're everywhere. And some little fish cakes, deep fried. You got the cucumbers that you throw in there with it. That's the raw, like that minced fish. That's what they make it into these little patties and deep fry. See, not only can you get some meat on a stick, but you can get the intestines on a stick. So they're throwing it in the chili sauce, and then you just get that, and then they'll warm it up for you, and you can eat it. They got some Korean food here. Some stuff that I saw in Seoul. It has that little sauce, and then right here, this is the gimbab. Now I got, re <laughs> got roasted for calling it sushi whenever the Koreans call it gimbab. You can see there's more shopping, more food, kind of all mixed in. Some of the little hot dog, or little sausages. And then we got some candied grapes and strawberries. Some of the plums. All right, over here we got some Japanese crepes. This is quite nice. So here's the crepes, and then uh, she's putting the toppings in it, the whipped cream. Oh, this looks really, really nice. You're just making them right there. And these are 49 baht. So she has the Oreo cookies and that's the uh, Foy Tong. She's got the chocolate and she's rolling it up. So I decided after all to get one of these crepes. So they're 49 baht. So getting it with the banana, the Foy Tong. And you got to come over here and you got to order it off of this right here. So your guess is as good as mine. Here's some chocolate. And that's the finished product. Here's some roti saimai. This is uh, really, really popular from Ayutthaya. It's the Thai version of the cotton candy. So they make these little tortillas. Just puts that batter right on it, makes it into the little tortilla. And then you get that right here, the little bag of it, and then this uh, like sugar fl floss stuff right here. And then you roll it up like a little burrito. It is so popular in Thailand, they love it. So you get three pieces for a uh, hundred baht or 40 baht for each one. And we got some sweet potato balls and french fries. Here, this is some of the fish. So she deep fries them and over there she drains the oil off and then she cuts them up. Then they'll throw them in a bag and then they'll throw the chili sauce on top of it. And you see it just steaming. Just tosses it into the little plastic bag. And that's the chili sauce. And then you just eat it with a little tit, little stick. And <laughs> got the helper girl. So some fresh squeezed orange juice. 25 baht for a little one of those. Some Korean fried chicken. So you just come up here and you uh, pick out however many you want. And you buy it by the piece. Yeah, these markets are great. This is what the Thais love to do. They love to go to these markets like this in the evening. They can buy clothes. They can buy food. Kind of what I always say is in Thailand, all roads lead to food. You can even buy these mattresses. The Thais have these mattress, they just throw it on the floor. And then in the daytime they roll it up and then they use that room for everything else. You can buy pillows and the blankets and the mattresses here at this market also. And you can see the Thais just love to come over here and shop. So we went through another zone of clothes and we're back into some carnival games. So the shooting game. I don't know if she can get any closer to her target. She missed. <laughs> Got some perfumes. Throw the darts at the balloons. And here, this is kind of a new trend. So you buy all these little things here and then you buy these little slippers and then you glue them on. You can decorate them up. Kids would love that. Making it some of the little sausages. 
the candied strawberries and grapes and the apples. And that's the candy sauce that they put on the outside. Check out this here, all these, all these meat on a stick. And over here, they're grilling up some of this, more of the squid. <laughs> you got the trampolines for the kids. Another one of the slides. You got a little Ferris wheel. And then it just keeps on going. There is so much to this market. That's going to finish up our video over here at this Chacha Jack Walking Street Night Market. This was a whole lot of fun. It was absolutely massive. There was so much food, so much stuff, and uh, lots and lots of people. This is a special event. It's going on until the 24th, so uh, it's not a normal thing. Just a kind of a nice little treat. And it's cool because uh, the Thais will come out here in the evening. They shop. They buy the food when it's a little bit cooler. It's not the heat of the day. So this is what they really like to do. They can come here, hang out. And the majority of the people here at this market were uh, the university kids because there's two gigantic universities nearby here. And this was easy enough to get to. Just uh, take the BTS over here to Bang Boa, and it's a short little walk over here to the night market. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash like and uh, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. If, uh, if you like some of the food or if you have any questions, ask me down below. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe, stick around. This is what I do. I show you things I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. So if you like that, uh, subscribe and then you're notified when I post a new video. And from over here in Jachachak, remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.